Hey, I'm Alan Brito from Blender 3D Architect and welcome to this tutorial about the 3D Cursor, one of the most unique features of Blender and something that uh, many people that start with Blender and spot it for the first time in the 3D viewport uh, ask themselves, what is this thing? What can we do? What can I do with this small target? And once they learn uh, the many different use cases for the 3D Cursor, they start loving it. And today I have an add-on that was just released. It's this add-on right here, the 3D Cursor Briefcase. It's an, a 3D Cursor Manager, something quite simple, but it can improve your experience with the 3D Cursor. Let me show you how it works. It will give you an option to save and manage multiple 3D cursor, uh, multiple 3D cursors. So if you go into edit preferences and here under get extensions, if you type 3D cursor, you will see the 3D cursors briefcase. I already installed my uh, add-on. You, you will see this button here, install. So you can install the add-on to try that. And you have to enable the add-on. Once you enable the add-on, look on your 3D viewport sidebar and you will see an option here under the view tab, 3D cursors uh, briefcase. Let me show you uh, quickly how it works. For instance, I have this 3D cursor here. I'm using my snap. And if I press and hold the shift, uh, and the shift key and the right button, the right mouse button, I can quickly align my 3D cursor. Let me create or save the location of this 3D cursor here. Click on this plus sign. It will save your 3D cursor. Let me place the 3D cursor here on the midpoint of this wall. I will save this 3D, this 3D cursor location and I want to save the 3D cursor on the center spot of this uh, wall here. Shift S, cursor to selected, and I will save the 3D cursor. There. Now, if I select any of those options here and choose load, it will move the 3D cursor to that saved location. And you can also rename this. For instance, let's call this top left. I'll call this wall. And this one here will be a door. And if you want, you can also center your view in each one of those cursors. Just a simple utility, quite useful. Wall, load, center view. And in case you want, you have additional options here. You can uh, convert any selected 3D cursor to an empty, or you can convert all of them into an empty. Or if you don't want them anymore, you can either remove any of those uh, saved options, or you can remove them all use the, using this option. So this was a simple tutorial. I was making this uh, floor plan here, uh, this uh, design, and I saw this uh, new add-on and decided to make a tutorial. Hope you like it. If you find it useful, uh, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you won't miss any uh, future uh, add-on reviews. And don't forget to check my latest learning resources. I have a new workshop. I was making another version of this uh, lesson here where I uh, explain how to create a floor plan using the PDT add-on. Uh, links in the description. See you next time. Bye.